So Maples for Vimy was put together to uh, honor our veterans of the Great War, predominantly the uh, Battle of Vimy Ridge. Uh, and this spring it's the 100th anniversary, April 9th. And we are going over to France with a group of uh, Canadian Scouts, Guides, Cadets, First Nations Kids and Young Veterans. And we're meeting up with some French Scouts, Guides and Cadets and we are planting uh, throughout the uh, towns which were the divi divisional uh, headquarters of the Canadian troops and on Vimy Ridge, 500 maple trees to create living memorials of honour, to leave a legacy, to enhance the Vimy Monument and the Vimy Memorial. By the time the war broke out, uh, I was 17, but I was a sergeant in the, in the reserves. No problem. Uh, I enlisted the day after Canada declared war. And I had to revert to a private. And I enlisted in the Royal Canadian Regiment here. When I was asked my age, I thought, what the hell? If you're going to lie, you better tell them a good one. So I said I was 21. In those days, <laughs> they didn't really care a heck of a lot. Now, Sheridan Atkinson, uh, World War II vet, 95 years old, absolutely spectacular person, uh, was so generous in offering to sponsor our very first Vimy maple tree. It is so significant that uh, a, a veteran like Sheridan, who saw action, he's been around, he's 95 years old, would look at a project like this and understand its significance and want to help out to ensure that we actually were able to pull this off. And uh, for us, when we're involved with any veterans who who support the program, it, it's it just I can't I can't express enough uh, how humble it makes us feel. I went to Sicily with the unit on the 10th of July, 1943. I landed on the shore at Pocino in Sicily, and uh, it, by which time I was second in command of the anti-tank platoon, which was. Six pounders. Yep. I had a small problem on the 24th of July. That's two weeks after we were in there. Uh, we had quite a battle. Uh, it's the old story. We had the misinformation that they were very lightly defended, etc. We had all sorts of support we were supposed to get, none of it turned up. And it was a pretty bad thing. What was supposed to be captured today took five. Uh, I, on the 24th, had a small problem with the German 88, which landed just around the corner of an old tank that I was hiding behind. We were under very heavy fire. And uh, that was the end of the war for me.